Yamaha presents The Whitetail Diaries, chronicling hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Join top whitetail hunters nationwide. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the whitetail deer. You know, this is our traditional, uh, I call it our Cabela's week in, in deer camp, where we have different members of the Cabela's team come down and we're, we've done everything from talk about future product development in the past. We've talked about marketing strategy. We look at, you know, trends and what's coming up, but we get to go deer hunt. And that's my favorite part of that whole week is we're going deer hunting. We come down here, we have fellowship and we talk business and we just get out there and enjoy the outdoors and share in the lifestyle that built Cabela's. The conditions are, are phenomenal right now. Uh, the, the deer on their feet, they're chasing does, they're rutting, you can rattle, you can see them chasing. So it, this is a, just a great time to be here. And one of the people we were able to invite this week is Lucas Hogue. I'm so proud and, and honored to be a partner with Cabela's. Uh, I'm one of their brand ambassadors along with Luke Bryan and Justin Moore as their music ambassadors. And I always wanted to be some way affiliated with Cabela's because I was a Cabela's fan. I mean, growing up in the Midwest, it's a Nebraska-based company. I mean, that was our Mecca. That was our Disneyland, you know, <laughs> when we finally got to go to a great store like that. And uh, being able to go right before a hunt or right after a hunt season or something like that with Dad and my brother, it was, it was just a, a family treat for us. Finally being able to come full circle and, and be an ambassador for a, a brand like Cabela's, it just makes my heart sing. It really does. Well, on deck first is Jeremy Watch. With the present weather conditions, Wade and Jeremy head out to the Whitetail Ridge in hopes that the deer will favor the rocky terrain during the wet weather. For me, when I start thinking about where I'm going to go hunt or, or what we're going to do, I base a lot of things on obviously the conditions, the wind, uh, what the stages the deer tend to be in, where, where I'm seeing them, what I'm seeing on the scouting cameras, you know. You take all that information as well as your history and your past experiences and you compile it together to pick hunting spots. And we've had a tremendous amount of rain, probably as much as seven inches uh, in the last 36 to 48 hours. Um, and I know that our deer like to be in rockier ridges and up on the hills and, and you know where it's rocky that time of the year when you have those conditions. So when Jeremy and I had the chance to get out and go hunting, I knew right away a couple of places that I thought would produce that the deer would be comfortable in based on what was going on. It was a cool place. We were set up on the side of a hill, um, pushed back into some brush and uh, we instantly saw some action. We saw a little spike buck come in saw a doe come in, and then we had a whole herd of sheep come in. I normally just kind of am impatient and just let whatever happens gonna happen. Let the, let the livestock kind of do their thing, whether it's a cow or you know, a goat or a sheep or whatever might show up. But in this case, they, they were going to sleep. They were chilling out, they were resting down there. And I'm thinking, man, I've got to do something. It's about four o'clock. We've got about an hour and a half of time left. I need these sheep gone, so I literally, <laughs> I go down there, and I'm, my whole mind while I'm doing this is, boy, this is probably live on Facebook somewhere. Jeremy's streaming it and telling all of his buddies back in Sydney what's going on. And I'm walking around, you know, waving my arms like a bird. Like, I mean, I'm out there flying around, and the sheep are looking at me, but, you know, hey, it worked. I mean, maybe I have a future to be a sheep herder, but I got them out of there, I climbed back up on the ridge, and we laughed, and I thought, you know, let's just ride this out and see what happens. I mean, we've got a great vista. We can see a long ways. and. You know, when a deer is going to do what he's going to do, he's going to come in where he's going to come in. And this is just going to happen to be one of those cases. And I mean, it was instantaneous. I knew we had a, had a shooter buck. and. And what the funny part is, is that's right where I'm walking around, you know, not an hour before working these sheep, you know, playing sheep herder. And here, here this buck comes down the drain and down the draw. And I just said, hey, you got a shooter, Jeremy. If you like him, it's all up to you now.
Hit bad. He's going down. He's done. He's done. <coughs> He's gonna go down right there. Good shot. Good <laughs> shot. You crushed him. <laughs> yeah. What a Thank cool you. deer. Did you see the tines on that thing? <laughs> <laughs> you got some tines. It was just so cool to see it all come together. And really, when you look at the end result, everything worked perfectly. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, buddy. Tines on that Oh, right man. <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> I love those high time racks. All those tine links there. I guarantee mean, you, that's going to be about a. I bet that's going to be close to 10, 11 oh there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's an old timer right there, too. Look at that deer. What a troll, man. I I can't even tell you how happy I am. Thank you so much. That was too cool. That was a fun day. You watching me. Oh, what a fun hunt. Oh, what a good deer. It's so fun to get out and go hunt with your friends and people that you work with and that you strategize, you know, on projects all the time. So to be there and watch him make a perfect shot and to see that grin and see the excitement and, you know, watching him texting his wife and tell her how happy, you know, he excited he was and she was happy. That's, that's what it's all about for me. Can't tell you how excited I am. This has been just an awesome day and everything that went on today, we had sheep coming through, we had sun, we had uh, rain. Um, it was, it was perfect and I had a blast. This was, this is fantastic. Great deer. Want to see more Whitetail Diaries content? Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch your favorite moments and behind-the-scenes footage from the show. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Yamaha ATV and Side-by-Sides. Real world tough. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Garmin Rhino 7 Series. Wherever you hunt, make it Rhino Country. The full line of Yamaha ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles with class-leading durability and reliability. All real-world tough. For sale, lakeside getaway, solid construction, with mudroom. For 200 bucks, no mortgage necessary. Cabela's West Wind Dome Tent. Great price. Lifetime guarantee. Only at Cabela's. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. We've got a special group of guys in camp this week from Cabela's, and one of them just happens to be country artist and Cabela's ambassador, Lucas Hogue. You know, and I got to meet Lucas a few years ago on some of our fishing trips, and then I've become a fan of his music ever since then. The plan with Lucas is he's going to be bow hunting. He's been practicing with the Cabela's Fortitude bow, and that's a fantastic setup that is, is dialed in. And I already know Lucas can shoot. I've seen him in action at the ACM uh, Cabela's archery contest that we do. Uh, it, you know, he's, he's got it dialed in. I've, I've been fortunate to have him both on my team and actually have to shoot against him. So I know that he's got game with that bow, so I'm pretty excited to see, you know, what we can have happen. We got into camp, and after flying with your bow, you definitely want to check it out first. And uh, they have a great setup here with 3D targets across the property at different ranges. So uh, being able to get out here, hang out with the guys, ch just chill out and get your stuff dialed in nice and easy, take the stress off, and make sure that uh, your weapon's functioning accurately is a huge deal. And uh, to be able to do it in such a great atmosphere, man, it, it just, it's just great. So we're going to start Lucas off in a box blind. You know, we just put this one up recently and, and you know, we know the deer are there. It's in one of our favorite spots where we used to have to put a pop-up every year. And uh, now we've got a permanent set up and you've got shooting lanes out, you know, one side that go back into a persimmon flat. On the other side, you've got a big Sinisa flat. And I mean, it's just, it's a perfect place to go hunting. So that first morning we're out there and we get out there, 
well enough time before the sun comes up. It had just been raining, like torrential rains. I mean, uh, it's muddy and wet, and, but we got out there and we got settled in before the sun comes up and the rain quits and we're sitting there and you hear crunching and you can see the, you could see a silhouette of a deer eating grass and you could just see that rack just towering above him and it was just not enough light in the day yet and uh, the camera couldn't see him I could barely see him and uh, he just walked on off and we didn't see him the rest of the day it was just fantastic so much action going on all around us I had never seen so many deer around me in all my life so to see all that activity get your heart going a lot you know and uh, seeing great animals coming in just beautiful beautiful animals our interest was definitely peaked when we saw that guy that we wanted to go back that night so we went back that night set up everything was great another you know great active crowd of deer that came through there and uh, he never came in he never came in so we figured he might be a morning guy <laughs> so we went back the following morning sure enough he was right there. We got up before the sun came up. We had plenty of time to set up. Every, all the conditions were right. Beautiful, bright, sunshiny day. And I, I got my shooting lanes and the deer blind and everything was perfect. And he was just chasing doe left and right, eating a little grass here and there and chasing doe. And he just would not square up to me and I'm not gonna shoot if he's not in the right spot. So uh, he, the one shot that we got, he's turned and just walked off. I mean, he was probably two seconds, maybe it was the perfect shot. He just walked off, <laughs> said, see you later. <laughs> Not this year. When we return, Lucas and Wade form a new game plan, and it looks like it could pay off. Be sure to stay current on our latest prices and giveaways. Like us on Facebook and follow along on all our entries into the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gunmaker. Purina Quick Draw Mineral Blocks, a difference you can see. Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras, proven. Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. Man versus nature. It's a tale as old as time. An external struggle pitting the hero against an animal in a battle of strength and wits to see who will come out victorious. Will you accept the challenge? Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Efficient power, shooting 370 feet per second at only 140 pounds of draw weight. The ultralight Eclipse RCX boasts next generation reverse cam technology taking your performance to inspiring new levels. Ten Point, perfection lives here. The art of the hunt is not painted with a broad brush. Its eyes in the details. The note on the refrigerator. A set of broadheads, tried and true. The well-worn boots, soaked in doe estrus. And a Garmin Rhino, the only GPS with two-way radio. Clear the rhubarb out of the freezer. It's whitetail season in rhino country. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Country singer Lucas Hogue has been hunting out of a box blind, but after sitting there three different times without any luck, well, it was time to try something else. I really, unless I'm hunting a phenomenal food source, I get nervous going to a spot four and five times like that. I, you know, the deer get nervous. You're, you're putting in undue pressure in there. They get wise to you. And I just think it makes it harder and harder. And we only had a few days left or, uh, on this hunt. And I thought, let's make a move. Let's try something different this afternoon. And fortunately for me, I was free that afternoon and I was gonna be able to tag along with Lucas. And we, we parked pretty good ways away, you know, made it away across the big uh, spring creek that runs through there. It got up, got set up, and just kind of had to sit there and wait. We got in there about two o'clock that afternoon, and uh, immediately we saw a little spike that came crossing right through. And in my mind, I'm thinking, boy, if a big buck does the same thing, he's going to get hammered. A doe kind of milled around out there. We had a young eight point uh, come in not long after I'd started rattling. and. You know, it was it was shaping up to be fairly perfect for the late afternoon. He took me to this great spot. The deer blind was perfectly hidden. 
and it's a big one of those pop-up blinds and it's a big one we could get four people in there if we wanted to if not more i could stand up straight and i'm six two so <laughs> it was great wade's sitting there with me and we just see all this activity going around and and i peek up you know over see the blind there, there's trees right there and man i just see this this beautiful promising rack and and uh, i'm thinking it's a 10 point you know and he's pushing buck and he's pushing doe around and so I was sitting right where he came, and he came across to my uh, left side there, and it couldn't have been better. You got him. Dude, I'm telling you right now, I think you smoked him. I think you made a perfect shot right there. Dude. I mean, it looked like it disappeared. I mean, from yeah. my angle, it looked in the heart, didn't it? Yeah, it looked, <laughs> it like looked it in the head, Oh, man. <laughs> it looked perfect in the heart. <laughs> yeah. He's just sitting here waiting a bit. Let him do his thing. Oh, You know, we give the deer a, a, a decent amount of time and we start tracking and, you know, Lucas had watched the deer clear a, you know, big old black brush, a bush out there. And sure enough, we go up there and we start finding blood and you find a few more drops and you see that he's running hard. And in my mind, he's running dead. And that's the term that I say all the time when a deer has been hit in the heart and he's going to go X amount of yards and he's just going to fall over dead. You know, because that's what I saw when I thought the arrow went in and everything and how it embedded and how it was standing. But as we got up a, a little bit longer, there was two big puddles of blood. And I'm thinking, that deer's not running dead anymore. He stopped here and he's bleeding. And when they stop and they're bleeding, a lot of things can be going on. He may not be hurt as bad, or maybe he's staggering, getting ready to go down, but there was definitely no splashes right there. He had stood in this spot and bled. And we weren't maybe, I don't know, 55, 60 yards from the blind, and I heard a scrambling and, uh, and a few little rocks. And that made me nervous right then. And we just backed out. We got out of there. That's what I've always said. If, if you don't think that deer's dead and your sign's not, you get out of there. You know, track quiet. And if you think something's gone wrong, get out of there. And that's what we did. And we decided to go back out and look a little bit that evening. And we get back out there, recreate it all again. We were able to track the deer about another hundred yards. We just weren't finding any blood. You know, we're thinking to ourselves, did we jump that deer? Um, you know, is the arrow still in him plugging it up? You know, if, if you're a bow hunter, you've got a million thoughts in your mind right now. Anybody at home right now, they're either criticizing or saying we should have done this, we should have done that, and yes, no, maybe. That's what I always say in these in these bow hunting deals because you never have them until you have them. But after tracking for a little while and the blood quit, you know, and, and we made a few big circles, we got out of there. I, in my mind, I said this is a dead deer. There's no doubt in my mind this is a dead deer. We 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 just come back with a big army of people in the morning and start all over. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. Conquest Scents, hunting scents and dog training scents. Wiley X, absolute premium protection. The thing about public land is that most people hunt the same old beaten path The thing about you is, you're not most folks. Introducing the new TC Compass, only by Thompson Center. Follow your own compass with America's master gun maker. Protect it or lose it. 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 
protect it or lose it. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. When the time comes, will you be ready? We're giving away 10 DS4K models between now and the end of the year. To enter for your chance to win, text STEALTH to 59262. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Lucas made a perfect shot last night. You can see that, that arrow go right in. It's embedded perfectly in the shoulder. We tracked that deer for about 80 yards and we possibly jumped that deer. We're a little nervous about that, but we don't really know. Blood just kind of stops. I really believe that the left side of that deer is, is, is the holes plugged up from the arrow, so we're not getting a lot of blood. We found a couple of big spots where he definitely stopped that, so we backed out of here last night. Uh, we've got a search party out here with us right now. We're gonna kind of start the Easter egg hunt. The sun's just getting up. Um, it was really cold last night, so you know what we know is the shot was here, the deer, went that way kind of down into a little valley uh, and that's our last sign so we'll take search party kind of spread out into a grid and see what we can find feeling good wish we would have found him last night but i think he's going to be right up here so uh it got awful dark easy to get turned around in this brush so we brought the a-team out we're going to find this baby tonight or this morning here figured we'd call in the A-team in the morning. So we, uh, we got all the guys and we uh, decided to go back to that same spot and, and just start from where we were and just start looking and start looking. And we found little, a couple little pools of blood that we couldn't find at night. And uh, man, that led us right to him. Is he right there? He's right there. How come we come to that sucker last night? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff and I were standing we're, right here. Yeah. Jeff and I were standing. Uh, you and I were right here watching we walked those right, does right there. I walked all that tree line right there, and we came right back past we were, it. Literally, Jeff and I were standing right here looking at two does. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. Right where we thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Get in there, buddy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm pretty amazed. Uh, this is just awesome to see something like this out here. It's, it's, it's a great deer, great hunt, great shot. It was cool to finally get to hunt with Wade. I've been fishing with him before. I've never been out in the field with him, so it was really cool to be hunting with all my good buddies out here. It's, it's just a good time, good time for fellowship and everything like that, too. So get a monster like this, I'm excited, <laughs> to say the least. When you get an animal in your sights like that and, and you do everything that you can possibly do to make it the best shot, the best kill, everything just like it needs to be, and then when you finally see that animal in your hands for the first time, man, it almost brings a tear to your eye. <laughs> I'm so glad I got to come down here to the Whitetail Diaries Ranch and hunt with Wade and the boys and, and uh, look forward to coming back someday real soon. Hey, be sure to check out Lucas Hogue's new album, Dirty South, now on iTunes, Amazon, or at lucashogue.com. Well, that'll do it for us for this week. Congratulations, Lucas and Jeremy, on your entries into the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High Viz shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot High Viz. See what you've been missing.
You work hard to put feed where you need it, when you want it. And thanks to our patented Spintech spinner mechanism that elevates up and down, you'll no longer have feed go to waste due to wind or unwanted varmints. When the motor is shut off, the spinner plate is automatically pushed up tight and sealed against the hopper, protecting your feed. Stop wasting your time and let the Spintech technology work for you. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. The Bubba Blade 4-inch Gut Hook, featuring Mossy Oak Breakup Country, fashions a high-carbon stainless steel blade built perfectly to meet your needs. Designed for effective precision cutting, the famous Bubba Blade Handle, featuring Mossy Oak Breakup Country, providing ultimate control when harvesting your game. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. Purina's Quick Drunk is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out. Hercules Outdoor Industries is the new leader in hunting blinds. However you hunt, Hercules is the one blind for all needs. Hercules blinds are entirely made in the USA using high quality fiberglass components that can last through rain, snow, and all those cold winters. All Hercules fiberglass hunting blinds are foam insulated and carpeted, and Hercules Outdoor Industries will arrange to have it delivered directly to you. Find out more at HerculesOutdoors.com. When you're out hunting, make sure you're carrying Grove Tech. Grove Tech is designed specifically for the rigorous demands of the hunt and sets the standard for strength and ruggedness when out in the field. Grove Tech products have simply built the best tools for the job and are proudly made in the USA. Go hunt. We'll carry the gun. Grove Tech. Since 1984, Sawyer Products has offered the most technologically advanced solutions for protection against sun and bugs. Sawyer Picaridin Insect Repellent is effective against mosquitoes and flies. It's safe on you and your gear. And to maximize your protection, use a combination of Picaridin with odorless permethrin for your clothing and gear. Sawyer Stay Put Sunscreen will keep you comfortable and getting better protection for even longer. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. Every day, your eyes are exposed to dust, debris, and wind. Only Wiley X removable gaskets block it all out, and your eyes remain safe. Wiley X, absolute premium protection for sportsmen. 